Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another PSD to CSS online video tutorial. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use Firebug. It's a plugin to Firefox, uh, and today we're just going to use, it's got lots of features, we're just going to use one, <clears throat> one feature to sh that uh, is really helpful for uh, figuring out how to uh, stylize the text on your page. This is important for PSD to CSS online, mostly when you are making Drupal themes with it, because all the content for Drupal is CSS generated code, <clears throat> CSS generated content that you can stylize. But it's kind of intimidating to figure out what what style to change uh, to get uh, to get something to happen on the screen. Uh, Firebug makes it really easy, so I'm going to show you how you do that. Uh, let's see. We'll start by looking at uh, a simple uh, Drupal theme here in, in uh, Photoshop. Of course, the whole point to PSD to CSS Online is that uh, you can turn Photoshop designs into web pages or Drupal themes. Um, so, uh, real briefly, kind of a review, super fast here. There's a number of layers in your Photoshop file, and if you name some of them co correctly, that will make uh, PSD to CSS Online generate the appropriate code for you. Uh, here's content underscore Drupal. That's uh, the main content area for a Drupal theme. Here's left underscore Drupal. That's the left column for a uh, uh, Drupal theme. We have uh, the background here, the kind of the background of the, the content of the page is centered by putting underscore center in this layer name. And then we have a repeating background image called body ba underscore body BG. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we've already saved this to our desktop. And what, all we're gonna have to do then is grab it here at the PSD to CSS online website upload it and uh, it'll start turning on that before too long here it's going to generate um, the whole folder structure for our Drupal theme there it is some of this is review there's a couple of other videos that go into this uh, more in-depth so I'm going to kind of rush through this part so here's our new theme that was generated by PSD to CSS online and now we need to FTP it into our Drupal installation. Here's my Drupal installation. I'm already logged in. Uh, let's see. I'm going to, have to refresh that. There we go. So I'll just drag the new theme in here. It'll copy all the files. It will not overwrite any of the default Drupal themes. There we go. So here's my here's a nice clean Drupal install that I just copied our theme to. So you can see it's currently using the uh, the standard one of the standard themes that come with Drupal. Um, but because I just installed our new custom theme, I can just go to the uh, themes area here, and sure enough, there it is. We enable it and make it default and save the configuration. And there, that's the, uh, this is my Drupal website now. Oops, I've got to refresh again. It remembered some CSS from last time. There we go. That's the CSS that comes with the brand new theme. Um, and as you can see, it's not super attractive, kind of hard to read with uh, this text being so close to gray. That's why I picked the dark gray background. And uh, of course, all our links are always red by default, uh, just so you remember to change them to what you need them to be. Um, so now the big question is, if I want to change some CSS somewhere to make this text a little lighter, what text is that? And I could view the source and view the CSS, but that's kind of tricky. That It's time consuming, and that's frankly why one of the reasons most people don't like using CSS. Hmm. Excuse me. But uh, Firebug, Firebug totally solves this problem for you. So if you have Firefox, you get Firebug by going to the add ons and uh, tools add ons, and you can search for Firebug and then just install it. And then it's free, and it's just part of your Firefox then. Once it's installed, you get this little bug thing in the toolbar down here. And when you click on it, it opens up uh, all of this Firebug window, which is full of information. It does a, a thousand things, but all we're going to use it for today is uh, inspect. If you click on inspect, anything you drag your mouse over on the rest of the page instantly shows a blue box around whatever we're inspecting. And uh, if you notice, the Firebug information window is down below. Every time I find a new section to inspect, the, the Firebug windows update with all of the possible information about that element in this page, which is amazing. So then you just click on the element you're interested in, 
and that stops all the changing from down here and we can start to study it. So we want to change the color of that that I just clicked on and we can see that over here on the right uh, as, as a paragraph it's got some margin settings and then right here near the top here's the color for the text it's this dark this uh, gray color and it's uh, it's defined by the body color tag and it even shows me where that's defined it's defined in index.css on, on line 88 so now it's trivial to find it um, index.css is one of the files that PSD to CSS online generated so I'll go ahead and look in our theme that was generated I'll go and find that file index.css right there. I'll open it with notepad and we'll go to line 88 and see if that's really true. Sure enough there it is. There's line 88 and there's a body. Here I'll even uh, zoom in. That's probably a good thing to zoom in on. Here's line 88 and it's there's a body tag with a color attribute and it's 666 so I want uh, so that's gray and I want something much brighter than that so um, I'm gonna change that to how about uh, EEE? -E -E. That's almost white. And I'll save this file. Now the important thing here to do, which I always forget, is to copy our modified theme back up to the server. You don't really have to copy the entire theme, um, but it's only a few files, so it doesn't take too long. Uh, I could dig down here and find just the file that I changed. But uh, See, I'll leave that open and put it over there. But now when I revisit the site, it fires up. It fires up. It reloads. That, there we go. And sure enough, our text is now almost white. It's that EEEE uh, -E 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 color. You can even see it here in, uh, you can even see it in uh, Firebug. Um, now I only did change one thing. You can certainly use Firebug to identify lots of CSS elements to, to change. Um, you can change font sizes, of course. I mean, you can change anything that uh, that that is defined via CSS. You find your element, it'll tell you why it's that way and uh, what file it is you go to to change it, and uh, and that's the idea. So, I uh, will use it uh, one more time to change the, all these red links to something else. Um, so I will click on it, inspect. I'll point to any of the links, and I will find right away at the top here. Sometimes whatever you're looking for is down in this list of ways, but uh, so far I've been lucky twice. It's right at the top, and it's simply a hover that makes it red, and uh, that happens to be an index.css as well on line 71. So I'll simply go to index.css again, line 71. Here we are. Sure enough, there's the, uh, the hover attribute with red in it. And here's also our link and visited uh, uh, colors, which are th that pink color. So uh, they just happen to be all in the same place. I'm going to change them all to something kind of bluish. Let's see what would be blue eight RGB eight eight F. There we go. We'll make that, but we'll just make them all blue. Um, I guess we'll make the hover slightly. Let's make that darker blue. There you go, save it. And uh, don't forget to FTP it up to the website. There we go. And our new modified theme is there. We'll just go here. Anytime you want to close Firebug, you can just click that and it goes away. Reload the page, <coughs> excuse me, and there we go. Now all our links are blue. All our link overs, our hovers are dark blue, but the entire website <clears throat> Excuse me. Is uh, is uh, now easier to read because all the text is is white, and it's a little more easy on the eyes because our links are blue, and you can change any text that you want that way, um, and that's Firebug for Firefox, and uh, thanks.